Here's a little background story for you. As a student who was determined to have a well-written report for a college project, I decided to touch upon a subject that was known as the smile pig. The legend goes that back in 2007, a chain email was sent out with a frightening image attached, and those who gazed upon it would mysteriously wind up dead. That is, until a newspaper wrote a story on a woman named Mary that had seen the image and was struggling to come to terms with what she had seen. I was hungry for anything to help my project, so I set up an interview with Mary that next day. Her house reminded me of a horror movie. There was just a certain atmosphere that did not sit well within my stomach. I grew a little anxious, but I needed her story to help further advance my report. Mary's husband welcomed me at the door, but as soon as Mary heard that I was here for the interview, she broke into a distressed and whelping cry in her bedroom. With her being in such distress, I couldn't get my interview for that day. I excused myself from their house, said bye to her husband, and went on my way home. Stressed that I could not continue my interview with Mary, I went to shoot her another email to reschedule when I saw I had already received an email from Mary herself, explaining in detail that the way she had acted was no fault of mine, but of her own fear of what she's experienced. She begged for me to change my topic before it's too late. But just minutes after receiving Mary's email, I received another one that read, Hello, I see you're interested in Smile Pig. I have an attached image for you to help further advance your report. Attached was the unsightly picture. It had been late, so I decided to head to bed. But with the image burnt into my mind, I had felt uneasy. And what's worse than that, that night was the worst night of sleep I've had in my entire life. The nightmare shook me awake. The knocking downstairs and chills down my spine. What if somebody's trying to break in? I had to go investigate. What happens next speaks for itself. Perhaps maybe, just maybe, not everything is exactly how it seems.